from working. I don't know how many jobs she got now, businesses she got, <laughs> doing garden, farming, animals. Um, but we are grateful to be here today. And um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this started. So, Young King, go ahead and lead us in prayer. Father okay. well, yeah, thank you for this day. Thank you for um, protecting us through the night. And thank you for letting us bless you for this day. Um, please bless everybody that uh, doesn't really know you that much, but gets to know you. And Yahweh, we uh, Yes, your name, Emma. Okay, Father, we also want to um, send prayers out for Brandon, um, who's in the hospital. You know the needs that he needs, Father. Um, we just ask for you to send healing and health to his body. I uh, also want to pray for um, the Hamilton family. They lost um, the patriarch of their family, Father, so we just ask for you to send them uh, your love, your health, your strength to them in their time of need and time of mourning, Father. We want, I also want to ask and uh, pray for all of the lost sheep of the house of Yasharel, Father, uh, to the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad, Father, living in the lands of their captivities, Father, we just ask for you to give us guidance, to give us protection. And this time, Father, we ask for you to give us um, Amunah or faith, Father, because um, our enemies, they're more than my ear than we are, Father. We have no might in our hands, Father. And we know that without you, we can do nothing, but with you, we can do all things, Father. And we just want to ask for the remission of our sins and our families, Father, and for the sins of our ancestors that were before us that forsook your covenant, Father, and um, said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children, Father. We just thank you for the sacrifice of Yahushua, and we are grateful to you, Father, and again, we ask you for, for mercy, Father. Um, out of all the wicked things that we've done, Father, mm -hmm. we ask for you to still have mercy upon us, and... We are so grateful for the gift of life that you've given us um, and the chance at the gift of eternal life, Father. And um, we just ask for you to be with um, the Perry family and any and everything they're going through and, and all the other families that may need it, Father. Um, we just ask for you to give us all health um, in our bodies, in our minds, help us to renew our minds and to renew our strength, Father. We ask for you to just be all in order us and for you to guide and to protect us and to lead us, Father. Um, Please deliver us from temptation in these times, Father. All these things be last. Uh, in the name of your son, Yahushua Hamashiach. Amen. Amen. All right. So, y'all know, uh, <laughs> we're going through Faith in Action, Pay Action. Um, this one is titled, Jesus to, excuse me, Skiva or Yahushua, Idolatry in the Name. So, there's a lot of things that we've been taught that's not necessarily 100% wrong, but it doesn't really have the full effect that it should or the power behind it, and it's, it's, it's because of us. It's because of either things that we are doing or things that we are not doing. So let's get into it. Idolatry in the name. From Jesus to you, let's get it. All right, let's start off and go to Psalms 25. So... It's a psalm of David or Dawid or Dawud, Psalms 25. Unto thee, O Yahuwah, do I lift up my soul. This is also what the Master said when he was on the cross. O my Elohim, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that await on me on thee, excuse me, be ashamed. Yea, let none that await on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. So people that, um, you know, commit sin for no reason. Mm -hmm. Show me thy ways, O Yahuwah. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the Elohim of my salvation, because he is. 
On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Yahuwah, thy tender mercies, is what we was praying for mercy, and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old, because that's what he is. He, he is good and his mercy endures forever. So we have to always have to remember, even when we fall, you know, a just man falls seven times, but he gets up. You always got to get up. Don't just stay there. Don't just wallow in there. And you make things worse. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. So, you know, Daoud or David is pleading to the Most High to forget all and blot out all his sins. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Yahuwah. Man, that's good. Good and upright is Yahuwah. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Because all that sin and falling short. The meek will guide in judgment. So what does meek mean to you? Um, oh, you? Can't fit the doors. Um, not like humble, but like, mm -hmm. is it like that? It's humble. It's, it's humble. Yeah. Because like Moshe or Moses was known as the the meekest man on the earth. When all, every time the children of Israel came at him sideways, what would he do? He would humble himself, bow before him, like, hey, if I wronged you, you know, this, this, and that. And he would actually pray for the Most High to not kill them when they should have died, which a lot of them did, mm. for their wickedness. Um, the meek will, guide, will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the poor are mercy and truth. Unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. Because a lot of times, you know, when we're coming to understanding, we got to follow the, the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High, you know, cleave to the covenant. We make him so rigid and such a, um, I'll even say a schoolmaster, like Paul said, that, you know, we fall down one time and, you know, that's why a lot of people fall away because they don't realize you ask for forgiveness and you keep moving forward. You got to keep getting back up. But people, because yes, we are supposed to fear the Creator, but it's not supposed to be a fear to the point to where you just don't think you can do anything right. Because mm -hmm. then that then it becomes a detriment to you. Because you're not doing, because that means even the things that you do, you're doing, you're not doing with the right spirit a lot of the time. You're just doing like, oh man, I don't want him to kill me, this is not. No, <laughs> you're doing it because for one, he's an Elohim of love, although he is a, a man of war. Mm -hmm. So, we just got to remember, there's weight of your matters in the law. And mercy is a weightier matter because when we were coming into the truth, like our family, none of us, like we knew, we didn't know anything. Right. And the most I had mercy on us to allow us to, for our eyes to be open. So we always got to remember that. For thy name's sake, O Yahuwah, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. So he's not even asking for the most I to do it for his own sake. He's asking for the most I to do it for his own name's sake. Because it's all about the mm -hmm. name, the name. What man is he that feareth Yahuwah? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Now that word fear, again, is not just being so afraid that you're going to die. It's like a reverence, you know, to guard, to honor. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth, because the meek shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. The secret of Yahuwah is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Hmm. So if you want to know about the covenant, you gotta you gotta place your faith in the most high. Because this is still all about faith. Because they're talking about after all these spring breaks and everybody going on all these vacations, there's this new uh, wave of, you know, the virus coming and all this and that. It's always there's always peril, it's always chaos. We can't focus on that. We gotta mm -hmm. stay focused on the Most High, because right. in Him is our life. Mine eyes are ever toward Yahuwah, for He shall pluck my feet out of the net, so He gets us out of trouble. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Have mercy. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep, Shlomo, 
Uh, oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. So, another word for trust is what? What are we focusing on right now? Faith. Faith. Put your trust and your faith in the Most High. Mm. Yeah, to seek refuge, flee for protection. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I will wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O Elohim, out of all his troubles. Mm. But you got we know you gotta do something. That's what David is, is doing. He's using his faith in action. He's praying, he's supplicating himself to the most high. He's asking for forgiveness. He's he's confessing his sins. It's not just one of those things that I I'll, I by grace alone, by faith, by grace alone, like no, because even with grace and faith, you still gotta do something. What about Noah? Right. He found grace before the most high. But he still had to build that ark. Mm -hmm. We know we gotta do something. And sometimes it's just getting to that quiet place. Uh, in your war room, in your prayer chamber, sometimes it's just praying. Sometimes when you can't get away from people, it's just praying internally. When all the chaos is going on, when everybody's uh, having faith in all the negativity and uh, all the circumstances, sometimes it's you praying internally over that situation, mm -hmm. speaking life to that thing. But we got to do something. It's not just one of those things where it's just, oh, I'm just going to wait on the Lord Jesus, as they say. Okay. So we're going to go over one more. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to Psalms 31. Okay. And when, when y'all get that, y'all can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Psalms 31. Mm -hmm. Psalms 31. Psalms 31. Starting in verse 1. Young King. <laughs> All right. To the chief musician, a psalm of David in thee, O Lord, do I pray, or do I put my trust? Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. So, putting your trust is putting your what in? Put your, your faith, faith in. Reaction. Okay, keep going. Bow down in, thy, in thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. 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 Yes, yeah, speedily. Mm -hmm. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defiance to save me. Of defense. Or defense to, to save me. So that's why it's always like he's the rock of our salvation. He's our defense because we know mm -hmm. that faith is also a shield. It's protection. Right. Okay, keep going. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, thy name's sake lead me. And guide me. So what, what, we keep reading about names sake because we're always taught, right? Because this is, you know, titled from Jesus to you who shall adultery in the name. Like he keeps talking about that namesake. That namesake. What's so important about the name? I don't know the name. Is it? Mm -hmm. Are we sure about that? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Okay, keep going. Pull me out of the net. <clears throat> Pull me out of the net that they have laid priv privily mm -hmm. for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Yahuwah Elohim of truth. That's also what Yahushua the Master said on the cross. Out of my hand I commit my spirit when it was finished. Right? I'm going to keep going. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in Yahuwah. Now, if you trust in something or you have faith in something, you have what in it? You you have what confidence in it. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have to keep our confidence state on him. So I'm just trying to show you other words like, okay, all this is me showing faith. It's even it's even like a language. It's even changing the languages that you use. Uh, whenever situations come up, no, I got, I got faith, I got confidence, you know, I got trust, you know, I, I don't have any doubts when it comes to what the most I can and will do for me. I know he will protect me, I know he will lead me, I know he will guide me. Okay, keep going. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversary, uh, adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of, thine, of the enemy. 
Thou hast set me feet, my feet. Uh, set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah, for I am in trouble. Mm. My eye, mine eye, is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of my inequity, iniquity, and my bones are consumed. So now when we see the, the David again, he's still confessing his sins, but he's still like, most I please be gracious to me, please, because that the word mercy, there it's um, kaan, uh, kanan. And it means to be gracious, show favor, have pity. So again, when we fall down, when we make mistakes, the important thing is not to stay there, not to dwell there, but get up. Don't make excuses, repent, move forward. Don't let people try to bring you back to these same situations and circumstances. Repent and move forward. But the, the, the main thing is, to get up, because we're all trying to do something too, and it's all about the name, because it's all, he keeps saying about the name's sake, right? In your, by, for your name's sake, right? Okay, keep going. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and they feared to my acquaintance that uh, they that did see me without from me. So what does it mean he was a reproach to his enemies? Mm. Basically, like he he was something for them to mock or scorn. Mm. You know, some you know he was a reproach to them, like like the way our people were. You know, when we were brought over here as slaves, mm. we were called all these different by words and pink and ninnies and all this, this and that. Um, but especially among the neighbors and a fear to mine acquaintance. So they were they didn't even want to know or. It to be known that they knew of him or they were in league with him. Because we know that wow. the King Shaul was trying to kill him. Guilty by association. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and he said, they that did see me without fled from me. Because again, the king was trying to kill him mm -hmm. at the time. Right? Okay, keep going. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. So, but did David just concede to that, or, or what? Read the next verse. What did he actually do? But I trusted <laughs> in Yahuwah. I said, "Thou art my Elohim." Because he had faith, and he's not just having faith. Uh, he said he's actually got more faith than a mustard seed because he's acting on it. Because he's He's praying to the Most High again. He's repenting and then he's activating the Son of Man that's within him because the Most High he dwells in the temples of man, right? In our heart, right? You no, know, he knows what his enemies are about to do to him or try to do to him. He's right. still putting his trust in the Most High. Because fear is just where you, that's just, you just have more faith in it. That's what we talk about because I don't even really like the term fear. It's just, no, my faith mm -hmm. isn't, my enemy's trying to kill me. That's I mean, literally that's what you're what, saying. That's what it is. I mean, he's not fearing mm. them and what they're able to conspire against him because he put all his fear slash faith in the most high. In the most wow. high. He fears him more than he does his enemy. That's deep. <laughs> as long as that happens, you'll have your shield. Your protection. Mm. The rock, your, your fortress. It'll hide you in a pavilion. You know, but like, keep going, keep going. Fifteen? Yes, you're on fifteen now. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that will persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me from thy mercy's sake. No, he said, save me for, for thy, thy mercy's sake. sake. What I said, from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Save me for now, thy Now, the, 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 the thing about this word for mercy, it's kaseh. And when I was looking at this, I was like, that's crazy. It means goodness, faithfulness, kindness. But that's about faithfulness. So because David is showing faith, the Most High, well, I'm going to show you how faithful I am. Hmm. Your faith leads to the Most High's faithfulness because it's for his mercy's sake because of his name's sake. Hmm. But there's a lot of idolatry in because we don't do our own part. Because certain t certain there's levels to faith. You know, Paul talks about the, the law of faith. But 
the way a lot of us, like we always talk about living on grandmama and them faith, <laughs> other people faith, you know, what you call it, third willing? Mm -hmm. Third willing. Third willing. <laughs> third willing people faith and third willing on people's uh, blessing. We got to start doing our part. And it's got to be with that other word, confidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> confidence. Okay, keep going. Let me not be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the wicked die. Mm -hmm. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, mm -hmm. which thou hast laid, upon, laid up for them, that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. So because he put his faith or his trust, you know, he activated the most high through his the most high faithfulness through his faith. The Most High is going to hide them in a secret place. You know, with all the stuff that's coming around, sooner or later, we're, we're all about to find secret places. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have our faith, our trust in the Most High, we're not going to find it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be going through these things uh, like our, our people have done for hundreds of years without an Elohim, mm -hmm. and which, mean, which makes you not a people. So, again, our faith, our trust has got to be in the Most High because it's for His mercy's sake and for His name's sake. Okay, keep going. Blessed be Yahuwah, for he hath shewed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. So the Most High showed him his, his marvelous uh, kindnesses in, you know, a large or strong city. Because, you know, they're trying to kill him again. That's the context behind it. Mm -hmm. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. So even though David did have faith in the Most High, he was like, yo, I'm cut off. Like, this is it. Like, this is the end. So he still though had enough faith to be like, even though my enemies are planning to kill me, because there were times when Saul, he, he came with a spear, threw a spear, trying to kill him. You know, we read about it. Mm -hmm. And so when a the, when the king is after you, and he's got people throughout his kingdom, it's like, you can't find no no rest, you know, you, you, you're crying, you know, you're, you're, you're nervous. Every sound is going to make you nervous. But he was like, you know what? I'm not going to focus on that because you are the rock of my salvation. In whom will I trust? Okay. You are on, yes, 23. I love Yahuwah. Oh, love Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, my baby. All ye his saints. For Yahuwah preserveth the faithful, mm. and plentiful rewarded the proud doer. Mm. So it's, it's mm. not just about the faith, it's about doing something. Yeah. You pay action, faith in action. So it's not just faith, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bring something with it. The you know? proud doer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what? Uh, I'm bookmarking. <laughs> right, the proud doer. Just pride can be a sin, but it's not necessarily a sin if it's in the right thing, as we're reading now. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, and ye that hope in your hope. So be of good courage, <laughs> uh, so he will strength, and he will strengthen your heart, mm -hmm. all you that hope in your hope, because you got to believe, and you know, with that confidence and. Mm, there's just a lot of, I'm not really trying to say on new age, negativity. Family, especially family, because they just want to keep us in the same cycle. Mm -hmm. You know, keep complaining about the same thing. And you can't, you know, me always trying to witness to them, like, hey, you might not want to speak too much about that and continually focus on that, or you're going to bring that to you. True. Um, and there's a lot of people, like, they just don't, they don't get it. You know, it's still... The same mindset, no matter how much, you know, you show them certain things or say certain things to them, and they can tell a change. You know, they can they can feel a change because when people, like, come into your area, you got to let them know, hey, 
you are not going to change the atmosphere in here. Mm -mm. The atmosphere in here is going to change whatever you got going on. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you come into a room, people should know that they should be able to feel it. You yeah. Because you got that confidence and that faith and that trust in the Most High. So again, we've been going over faith. Um, we're going to end up hopefully going through. No, we're going to end up going through pretty much all of this book in Hebrews. But what is the the book of the the evidence of faith, well, I'll just say the definition of faith. It's in the New Testament. Hebrews 11. <laughs> there you go. Hebrews 11. Okay. So, we, again, we're going to focus on verse 1 verse 6 again. It's on the screen. Oh. Now, faith, amona, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Because David, he couldn't see, you know, the most I delivering him from the hands of the king Saul at the time. Mm-hmm. But he hoped for it, mm -hmm. and he believed that the Most High could do it. And he also realized that, verse 6, without faith it is impossible to please him. It's impossible to please him. It's impossible to activate the Most High's faithfulness, his mercy. For he that cometh to Elohim must believe that he is. Mm -hmm. Again, there's that word again, mm -hmm. belief. Mm -hmm. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. Diligently seek him. And, you know, we've, we've gone over that. That means you have to investigate, scrutinize, and then at some point in time, you got to start demanding that from people. Demanding that from people. So now we're going to go over a little bit more faith. Uh, we went over these uh, last week. I'm just going to read these again. Habakkuk 2 and 4 and Romans 1 and 17. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Uh, Romans 1 and 17. For the gospel, the Besor, reveals the righteousness of Elohim that comes by faith from start to finish, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. So I've been asking you all about what does, it, what does either in the name, what does the name mean? Like, what does it mean? For his name's sake. You know, we were always told, we were always told you know, you got to pray in Jesus' name. Now, we know that that's not even his real name. And we know that there were some people, there have been people that have been healed from it. So, what does it mean? What's, it, what, what's it, its importance? What's the importance of the name? The Acknowledgement. Yeah. Acknowledging that he is the... Yeah, because he said in all that ways acknowledge the son him. Of the Father. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you got, Jim? The question of importance of the name or oh, yeah, like we always told you, you always gotta put uh in Jesus' name on the prayer. Yeah, and we know that that's not the name. Power in the name, man. If you don't if you're not calling out the right name of the right God, then you're not now, speaking to the most high. That's a that's a very important uh point you brought up because all, all these different nations, there were 70 nations, they all have a different Elohim. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not what we're focusing on, but that's actually really good. Mm -hmm. That's actually really good. That's why the name is important. You have to know the true name. It shows your faith in a way, though, because if you're praying mm -hmm. and you call out Yahushua's name, or Jesus, per se, mm -hmm. you're putting that, you're activating that faith. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not just going to pray to this little shrine i'm gonna pray to the father like and you're literally showing him through your prayer and through your voice that, that i am serving you i'm asking so it's like kind of like you're showing that faith in. But, but we all know that jesus wasn't the name though so right how, how were people still healed i don't know <laughs> they still had faith in him even though they didn't know it's true so there, there's two, because Rebirth, they, they do a really good job of explaining this. We're only going to focus on two of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's your reputation, the name, or character, and it's the your authority or the authority that you're coming into. Mm. So, you know, they say that, what's the name that's above every name? Yehoshua? Yahuwah? No, no, no. You're right. <laughs> Acts 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other name, for there is none other name uh, given, should no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. This is talking about Yahushua, or 
people called as Jesus. So, because he's the son of the father, and the father is allowing you know us to go through him because he's the mediator mm -hmm. of the new covenant, a renewed covenant. But, hmm. so we know it's supposed to be in Jesus Christ, and Christ is not his last name. I, I, I know people, a lot of people like, oh, Jesus Christ or Christ. Like, Christ just means anointed. So yeah. David was anointed. <laughs> Moshe was anointed. So people get hung up on a lot of things. I'm like, no, it's just in, in Yahushua's name. But if we know that his name wasn't Jesus, again, like you said, how come people were healed from this name? And, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me backtrack. Okay, so Yahushua, the master, right? He had disciples. Now, when was all power given to them? Because he, he charged them to be able to, you know, um, heal the sick, lame to walk, blind to see, raise the dead. Was this given to them before he died or after? Because I'm talking all power. When was this given to the disciples? Man, man, while he was still living, man. Hmm. But there was one, there was one difference. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to Acts they have the power of the 1. They have the faith, Acts 1. Mm -hmm. So, Acts 1. yeah, we're going to, uh, Acts 1, we're going to read verses 1 through 11, and then we're going to go to Acts 2 after this. Okay, it's going to be on the screen. Now. So, it says, now, Acts is actually the Acts of the Apostles. I don't know why they take that out. Um, it says, the former treaties. Have I made, O Theopolis, of all that Yahushua began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he through he through the Holy Ghost or the Ruach Hakadosh had given commandments unto the apostles, apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of Elohim, and being as, uh, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said, "He, you have heard of me, for Yehuchanan truly baptized with water." But you shall be baptized with the Ruach HaKadosh not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Master, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because the kingdom is dominion. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father, the Most High Elohim, El Elyon, Yahuwah, um, have put in, in his own power. But you shall receive power after that the Ruach is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, 